Can you imagine if Fridays were free? Not free as in dollars and cents, but free as in free to relax, free to run errands, free to plan an actual three-day weekend. Well, this could be the case if the United States adopted the short work week, which consists of working Monday through Thursday, 32 hours a week. This has been implemented in most European countries, and it has proven to still maintain their prosperity. It is not shown to have any negative effects on their economy. According to Business Insider, America's argument is valid. Many labor unions suggest that cutting hours hurts the low-wage worker, which is true. Over 65 million Americans make less than $14 an hour. This is staggering when you think of the cost of living in the United States. Americans tend to take less vacation time, lack a work-life balance, suffer from more illnesses related to stress, related to their work. Fixes are there, however, they are legislative. And right now in America, legislation isn't going so well. It's going to take some work and it's going to take some time. But you can start with affordable housing, more of it. Let's make housing and living more affordable for our lower wage workers. More access to public transportation to get to work. Extend health care for all Americans, affordable health care, not free health care, affordable health care. Raise salaries and minimum wages. There are ways to do it. And you can start with the increase in productivity that has been shown by the four day work week. According to SHRM, which is the Society for Human Resource Management, this has increased worker engagement, decreased operational costs, which is that bit of money that I was talking about just a second ago. Use the money that you save to increase the wages of your workers. Gender diversity has been one of the biggest positives in this. Because the studies have shown, women tend to work for companies and industries which provide a better work-life balance. SHRM studied the model of Microsoft Japan. They had an increase in productivity. They had less use of sick time. One-hour meetings were cut to 30 minutes. I mean, that's all you really need, right? Employees tended to prioritize their days much better. I know it seems that having more time to do your work is better, but actually having more time sometimes means more breaks and more lag time. Knowing that you have less time to complete something makes you focus and prioritize your time to get your tasks done. So the adverse has happened. It has increased productivity increased focus in employees. The World Economic Forum, which engages world political, business, and cultural leaders of our society to shape global agendas that benefit all nations, have made a note that all the prosperous nations, especially European nations, have still maintained their prosperity, if not increased, through a shorter work week. Number one is Sweden, who still remains the most competitive nation, started the short work week over a decade ago, and they still remain prosperous and successful with a very high GDP. Number four is Germany, who actually has the shortest work week than anyone in the world. Three days. Imagine that. <laughs> and then we have Switzerland, who has remained number one in innovation for over seven years, even with a shorter work week. 
they remain prosperous, they remain innovative, and they have shortened the work week. They've increased the, they've not only shortened the work week, they've, they've shortened the work year and implemented a lot of things for their employees, for their citizens, that has had a positive impact on their countries. So I say it's time for the United States to at least consider it, at least start talking about it, putting our best political, analytical, and minds together along with our economists and coming up with a good plan, bipartisan, all about the citizens, all about the citizens and the wage workers of the United States. Not just wage workers, even salaried workers. This doesn't just benefit employees, it benefits employers who again have cut their operational costs, had to pay out less sick time, and it has increased the engagement between employer and employee, which can only be positive. So what do you say? I say it's time to start talking about free Fridays. <laughs>